What up? Welcome back to another video, guys. What a beautiful day it is today here in Dirty Jersey. Blue skies, clear skies, as you can see. It's a hot one, though, today. Today's a hot one, 95 degrees. I was off from work today, so I got to uh, stay home and relax all day. Finally. I know I didn't upload anything on Monday or Sunday. You guys usually know that I, that's, those are the days that I usually upload is every Sunday or every Monday and then another video throughout the week. But um, I ended up going out to a, an MC event on Sunday and I just didn't want to, you know, be recording and everything like that in those type of events. But it is midweek, so here is your midweek video. Today's topic of discussion, why millennials are not buying Harley Davidson's. And I know I usually have these discussion videos where, you know, we're going over numbers or we're talking about the company or whatever the fact may is, but I find it that I never really dig deep down to the reasons, the big reasons behind why millennials aren't really purchasing Harley Davidson's. And if you're unfamiliar with what a millennial is, is someone who was born between the years of 1981 through 1996 so if you're born between that time frame you are considered a millennial if you are born anytime after that you are considered generation Z and if you are born anytime before 81 you are considered a baby boomer anything beyond that point is generation X so this every generation has a name um, I may uh, I'm like a middle millennial. There's certain type of millennials. Right before we get into the discussion as well, I just wanna, I wanna explain something. There's different type of millennials. There's basically two kinds. There's like the first half generation and then there's the second half generation. The second half generation is the one that you hear mostly about. Uh, the quote unquote lazy type, the quote unquote, you know, baby like. I'm part of the first half of the generation where, where we're considered ourselves to be a little bit different. We actually like to work. We like to be hands-on. Um, and we're uh, a little tougher when it comes to those feelings. Now with that being said as well, it's not only just millennials that are not buying bikes, but now Generation Z, which is something that we hardly hear about right now, it's just millennials, millennials. but. These uh, young people, and I mean, I consider myself young still, I'm 33, but if you're around 20 years old right now, 21, you are Generation Z, um, and that's, you know, people don't tend to talk about Generation Z that much, but those are the new, the new clientele that Harley Davidson needs to be focusing on, besides millennials right now. Oh, we have a uh, bit of a traffic situation here. You got a situation. So let's get on with the discussion. Um, main reasons why millennials right now, and let's take my age group for, for an example. I'm, like I said before, I'm 33. So if you're around that age group right now, if you're anywhere between 25, 35 right now, you are either paying your college loans, which are ridiculously expensive, so college loans are a big factor into this. You are either starting a family, you have children, you're paying off a car note. You are either renting or you're buying a property right now. And everything in today's age is much, much more expensive compared to what it was, let's say 20 years ago, right? So we're gonna go into, into a few numbers real quick and I'm gonna use myself as an example. My wife and I, we pay for a mortgage in our house, right? We also have a few kids in the house. With that being said, we have a three-year-old, which we gotta pay daycare for, which is uh, over $1,000 a month. So you got your mortgage, you got $1,000 for daycare. On top of that, there's a car note. On top of that, there's the house bills. On top of that, there's groceries and food. On top of that, there's gas. And on top of that, there's money being spent on outings with the family. And when you have a few kids, that's not cheap. There's also clothes that you gotta spend on kids. So another huge expense. My wife is also paying for her college loans, which is a huge, huge factor. 
And then on top of that, there's other bills stacked on the top when it comes to credit cards um, and miscellaneous things or, you know, when things happen by emergency when you got to go out and spend money. So it's a lot of money. It's a, it's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And especially now, the way things are with the whole COVID thing, and even before the whole COVID thing, people, the average American is living a paycheck to paycheck with everything that's going on. So it, it is very difficult to find some type of funds to go on and splurge on a luxury item because at the end of the day, guys, a motorcycle is a luxury item. You don't need it. Unless that's your main source of transportation, which for some people it is, for the most part, it's just a luxury, it's a toy. So it's very hard when you're working paycheck to paycheck and you're you know, working hard to pay your student loans off and you're working hard just to stay afloat, it's impossible to go out and purchase an expensive Harley Davidson. We all have gone the rabbit hole. We've spoken about how expensive Harley Davidsons are and that is one of the reasons why other companies right now are, you know, out selling Harley Davidson is because I mean, obviously their their product is much cheaper, you know. And I'm talking about sport bikes. I'm talking about naked bikes um, and those type of products. Now, with that being said, my wife and I we do pretty well for ourselves. We we don't work paycheck to paycheck. We you know we're we're able to pay for everything and. We're still able to go on vacations and treat each other, um, go out to nice dinners and um, do fun stuff. So, I mean, we're, we're, we're humbled and we're, we're more than happy and, you know, to be in the place where we're at, we live very comfortably. But the majority of the people, unfortunately, don't live that way. Like I said, they, they live paycheck to paycheck. Some people, you know, have a hard time even trying to find some some money to eat sometimes when they go to work. I see it all the time, you know, it, it, and it sucks to see that. In, in a country as beautiful as the United States is and how big and powerful it is, there's a lot of that going on in the middle class society where no one's, it's, it's hard for people to just develop and hard for people to get over that threshold and then after the whole COVID situation thing happened, it just kind of messed everything up, man. It just, it's a new world, it's a new age. It's just strange times, man. It's just strange times. So you can say. Now with that being said, I, I kind of want to talk about Generation Z real quick. So if you're, let's say 20, 21, 22, um, you're freshly, you're, you're probably in college right now. You're paying for your tuition. And like I said before, these college loans are super, super expensive. Guys, if you don't know, college before was much, much cheaper back way before the 70s and 60s, way before the government took over and found a way to make money from the people. So back in the 50s, people, people were able to go to college and college was really cheap. You were able to pay for your tuition and you know you you were able to pay for your for your housing and you know you were able to support your family and everything like that but as soon as the government um found a way to literally make trillions and billions of dollars off the american people everything changed so what did the government said the government said hey you know what you're young you shouldn't be working and spending all your money right now paying for college guess what we're gonna pay for it you pay us back with a little interest and then after you graduate and you get that really nice job that you worked so hard and you studied so hard for to get you can start paying us back so people started doing that and they started getting student loans and that's how the government built this whole student loan things around that that's uh that's, that's, that's my little history fact for you guys today in case you didn't know that's the reason why we are in the place we are right now the government makes trillions and billions of dollars off student loans alone and that's why college is so expensive now. So a normal 22 year old who is in college or just getting out of college is now having to pay hundreds of dollars a month in student loans and he is in debt 
he is eighty thousand dollars in debt he is he or she is a hundred thousand dollars in debt fifty thousand dollars in debt like that's a lot of money a lot a lot of cash now with that being said another factor that i want to add into that which is another factor that i bought into uh the last video that i did with jerry is the apr so you know if you're if you're offering such an amazing because these products are amazing we ride these bikes and we talk about them because they're they're an amazing product i love my bike but if you have such an expensive product and you want to and you're having a hard time getting new clientele in the perfect way to do it is to drop your apr we spoke about zero percent before it doesn't have to be zero percent it could be one percent it could be two percent but like i said before i know people out there who are paying 12 16 17 20 percent alone on a, on a on a motorcycle no man that's insane so if you want to help your clientele out and you want to get more clientele in through those doors try to decipher a way to do that we obviously know that people are having a hard time making ends meet so one way to help them is to lower down your interest rate i bet you a lot of people will come knocking at your dealership a lot more now i want to touch one more base before we end the video and that's just the lifestyle that millennials and generation z are, are having for themselves right now uh, we're, we're in a day and age where people are, are spending less obviously because of the expenses they have but they're they're spending less because people also want to travel more now uh, they don't want to settle down like they used to before you don't see that many people anymore in their early 20s settling down having families and making babies everyone is just putting a pause to that they want to be free they want to travel around the world and they don't want to have the financial burden of to deal with anything a lot of my younger friends and younger cousins like they've all moved out of their homes and they're they all got roommates you know that they, they don't they don't got their own place they all got roommates because it is what it is it, it's hard enough for them to maintain a household so they go out and they have roommates they live two or three to an apartment especially here in new york and jersey things are a lot more expensive if you're, if you're watching this video out in the states right now and you're in the you're in the midwest or you're down south trust me your bills your mortgage is not anything near what we have to pay up here man for i'll give you an example my house here i have a i have a three-bedroom cape cod home it's a beautiful little house I could have gone down south to Virginia, south or North Carolina and got myself a mansion with the amount of money that uh, my house is worth. I mean, for up here, that amount is, is okay. But you get a lot, a lot, a lot more for your buck outside of, uh, of these states up here, man. So lifestyle, obviously a big factor into that. People are trying to cradle their money. They're trying to they're trying to be smarter with their money. They don't want to go out there and splurge the money on on you know unnecessary things. Wait a minute. I just remembered today's Wednesday and I think they got a bike night over here. So I'm just gonna turn around and see if that's going on. And I think that's gonna conclude the video, guys. Um I'm very intrigued to know your thoughts on everything on what I spoke about in this video. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you disagree, you disagree. That's awesome. That's uh, you have a right to your opinion. If you agree, awesome. Um, but if you want to put your two cents into it down as well, drop the comments down below. If you're new to my channel, just know that I upload twice or three times a week. If you're into motorcycle reviews, any type of content on this beautiful 2020 Lowrider S, Harley Davidson as a company, and anything motorcycle related, you're definitely in the wrong place. Go ahead, hit that like button, smash that like button hit the subscribe button and make sure to ding that bell so I notify you anytime I upload any type of new content guys like always ride safe and enjoy the ride baby and uh, there's like three bikes here just roll into the parking lot real quick and see what's up yeah something really going on here oh look who it is What's good, bro? Hey. I see that. What's going on? Chilling, you. Is she alive again? Is she alive again? Why not? What's up, man? Join you. It's a meet you, man. Join. How are you? It's a meet you. It wouldn't what? It wouldn't go to first? No, it's an 
Allen bolt stuck right in here. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, you know what? Uh, I was changing my grips one time, and one of the little bolts, they fell on that. I even know where it fell. Yeah. I just hit the whole thing apart, and it was like right in the head yeah, in there, bro. The worst yeah. yeah. You just got here? Oh, I got it back yesterday. No, you just got here right now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this shit's fucking dead. You made it to the vlog today, too. I was just vlogging right now. <laughs> if Safe would ever answer his goddamn phone. Yeah, I haven't spoken to him. I, I hit him up the other day because I kind of wanted to... Did he saw his bike yet or not? I don't think so. I'm still waiting to find a wrecked one of these so I can steal the front end off of it. Good luck with that. Put it on that bitch. <laughs> Good luck with that.